In this lesson, we'll be focusing on naming angles, and we'll learn three methods to do that so you can identify the angle that you're looking at. So the first and most traditional method is that an angle can be named by three letters. The important thing is the vertex must be in the middle. So if we're naming this angle, for example, we could say angle A, B, C, like this, as you go. And typically when I draw an angle symbol, you can either make a little L like that and call it A, B, C, or sometimes I draw a little arc like this, A, B, C. You can also, it's totally appropriate to go in the reverse order, C, B, A, angle C, B, A. So angle C, B, A is fine. If you tried to do something like A, C, B, well that does not describe this angle because A, C, B, kind of if you traced it, you go A, C, B, you can see it's not the right angle, so that's not correct. Okay, so here's an example. I want you to name the following video. So pause this video, write your answer down in your notes. You also respond in the Ed Puzzle. Okay, if you got this angle correct as far as the name, make sure the vertex is in the middle so you can name it angle D, W, S, or it's fine if you say angle S, W, D. A second method that sometimes makes it a little simpler is if it's clear with a, which angle is being described, you can just name the angle by its vertex. So just that point in the middle where the two rays meet. I want you to look. So if I said this first angle here, if I wanted to call it angle B, that's completely fine because you know exactly what angle I'm talking about. This has to be angle B. B is the vertex. If I looked on the right here and I tried to say something like angle C, you would be like, hmm, I have no idea what angle C is. Is it this angle or this angle or maybe even this straight angle? Question, question. So in this scenario where there's multiple choices, don't pick that one, just the vertex method. But if it looks like it's obvious which one, then the one angle or just the vertex method is a great way to name. Okay, so example two. In which of these diagrams would it be okay to just identify an angle as angle B? So again, pause the video, try to figure it out, and then I'll go over the answer. Okay, so if you look in this first diagram, angle B, who knows? It can be this, 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 I don't know. So not a good choice for that, and you can already see I made a big X. In the second, in the triangle, if you said angle B, that's the vertex, there's really only one choice. So the triangle is a good place to identify just angle B. Okay, the last method is named by an angle by a number. Sometimes there's a tiny number inside the vertex. An angle can be named by this number. So it is okay to call, for example, this angle right here. You could just name it angle 1. And for example, this angle here, you could just call it angle 3. Okay, and obviously you can do something similar with angle 2 and angle 4. All right, I would like you to look at this final example and figure out what's another name for angle B, C, E. So go ahead and find angle B, C, E, and then write the other name that matches that. If you found B, C, E, B, C, E, I hope you can tell that that is angle 3. All right, just use one of these three methods. Try to pick the most strategic one in every situation.